Before the Mad Titan, there was the Dismal Scientist. Avengers Endgame will resolve the conflicts that began in Avengers Infinity War. And Avengers Infinity War is the best superhero movie because the heart of the conflict is economics. Hi, I'm Greg and welcome to Market Power where we look at the power of markets and economics to shape our world. In Avengers Infinity War, economics doesn't just shape our world, it shapes our whole galaxy. Thanos collects Infinity Stones because he wants to prevent what he sees as an impending economic disaster. He believes the only way to prevent the catastrophe is through a massive population reduction. Thanos is following the same line of reasoning as one of the first modern economists. Thomas Malthus. They both argue that there is a limit to how much economies can grow, and that limit is determined by resources and population. Imagine you're starting an economy. Your population is small at first, and you have lots of land to grow food. Naturally, when deciding where to grow, you're going to choose the best land to produce your food. In this case, it's going to be right here by the river. Food grows, and so does your population. But now that you have more people, you need more food. So you plant more food and your population grows. So then you plant more food and the cycle continues. But you're running into a problem. Your population is growing faster than your food. One reason might be because you're running out of space. Remember, we chose the best land when we started. So that means naturally, as we start growing more food in different areas, we're not going to get as much food as we did in the first places where we planted. So the population is going to explode and our food can't keep pace. This is called the Malthusian trap. As our standard of living grows, our population grows too. And since a population is growing, we have to share our standard of living with more and more people. The average standard of living starts dropping. So population growth stops economic growth and keeps us mired in poverty. This is the same argument Thanos is making. A growing population will eventually exhaust our resources. In fact, the arguments between Thanos and Malthus are so similar that I like to call this model the Malthanos model. Do we have any evidence that the Malthusian model is true? Well, one of the predictions of the Malthusian model is that per capita income will remain constant or at least fluctuate around a constant. That's because as incomes grow, population will grow and drop those per capita income. This prediction was confirmed by economist Greg Clark. He collected data on wages for English builders since the year 1209, and consistent with the prediction, wages remain constant for centuries. In a Malthusian world, is it possible to improve the standard of living? Well, since the constraint on economic growth is population, we could try shrinking the population. This might happen if resources get scarce and we go to war with each other and reduce the population through war. Or maybe a drought comes through and we're unable to produce enough food to feed our population. Now that there are fewer people to consume our resources, per capita income is going to increase. But that brings us to our problem because now that per capita income has increased, we're going to have more population. And as we have more population, those people are gonna bring down the average income. So population reductions only last so long. Thanos has only offered us a temporary solution. In fact, as many people have pointed out, Cutting the world's population in half only brings us back to 1972. So every 50 years, are we gonna have a new snap? The real solution is to have economic growth that breaks away from the Malthusian trap. And this has already happened in the past. Remember those builder's wages we looked at? They stayed constant for centuries, but come in the mid 1800s when the industrial revolution was going at full strength, all of a sudden wages are increasing so fast that population growth cannot erode them. So what should Thanos have done? He should have created economic growth like we had in the 1800s. And that's gonna be the topic of my next video. So make sure you you subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of Market Power. We'll see you then.